Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zakir Gardens and this is episode 125 of Gardening Without Edits. Uh, Lulu's right over here, making sure I do things right. Um, so we're going to be talking about uh, if you didn't thin enough during um, the growing season or the earlier part of the growing season. Um, I didn't thin the Flavor Grenade, excuse me, the Flavor Delight Aprium. And I didn't thin the heavenly white nectarine. I don't thin them. I just, these trees are basically sun, uh, sun protection of the afternoon sun going into the windows. So that's why I did that instead of installing a screen. I mean, if I have space as a gardener, I'm going to put something I could eat instead of just a screen that doesn't provide anything but shade, which is pretty cool too, but I want fruit as well. So, but you can see that all this is open because this tree used to be over here. It's so heavy with nectarines that it's tipped over. So I had to remove a lot of fruit. This is piled up too, but let me show you a few tips when you have this happen, because you may have it happen. Um, take out fruit that you see like this, okay? It's not gonna really do well when it starts ripening because these little crevices or little condos or little hotels for bugs to go inside. And when you open these or separate them to eat them later on, uh, you're gonna see it's all webs and uh, worms or earwigs, etc. Also, try to prune off things that are too small. So you can see the difference. Well, it's not that much smaller, but you can see the, the color and the size difference. Take off what's small as well so i got some more small stuff here compared to a nice big one next to it so you can see the big and then small so take off the small stuff um always try to prune off the edge that's why you see just a lot of because leaves weigh a lot too and especially if they get wet or anything like that or the wind they're like little sails and the wind will make it heavier because it's, even though this, these leaves don't weigh much the wind on the tip of a branch, you can see the, the cut right here. This is on the tip. You can see the way out, way on the distance that the wind picks up, this will really pull the tree down. So take your ends off. Uh, take small fruit off or take big fruit off. You have to too, so you can see how big these are. These won't be ready till I think August. Um, but I, I've taken, today and yesterday, I've taken probably, Ah, uh, 30 fruit off. And I have to. Look how look how tilted it is. Watch. Oops. It, now it's even better now, but it used to be really crooked. So it goes straight. And then it just starts going that way. Whoops. Leaves in the way. We see it goes that way. That right there is supposed to be right here. That's how much it tilted. And I do not want... And the stress is coming on this joint, on this part of the wood right here. So I, I, if I lose all of this, that will suck. But if it does break right here, it will regrow. But if it breaks, paint it. I did that over here and I'll link up in an old video long ago. The aprium right here, about 40 apriums broke when we were home, I heard it hit the window. So I painted it years ago to heal it back. If I didn't paint it, there was such a bad gouge in here um, that I would have lost, that, that it would have rotted or, uh, rotted down to the center and could have killed the tree. You could basically just cut it off, but I didn't want to lose this branch. So I painted it right here. So this branch broke off this way and I painted all of it over and over and filled it in. Now I used half interior latex paint and half water. You could use diametaceous earth, powdered milk, etc. cetera. Um, but I used paint for this one or I would have lost it. Now it's taken few years now and it's still trying to seal up. So it shows that you can heal trees. It's not a, a, a lost situation. You still could heal it. I'll, if I didn't mention, I'll put up a video for that too. All right, everybody. I still got to work on this tree. Happy gardening. Bye.